Well, for your health tonight, Western New York has one of the highest rates of multiple sclerosis in the country, and many treatments have been pioneered right here. The latest is a pill, and it was just approved by the FDA. Dr. Peter Ostro has new information. Good to see you. How you doing today? Oh, Steve Wyshynski has had MS for 26 years. He participated in the trial of Avonex, the first successful treatment, and he's been taking it ever since. But those injections have side effects. Headaches, a headache, you know, for about 24 hours. Basically, a headache and a slight fever. Now, an oral drug called Tecfidera was just approved by the FDA. It was also tested here in Buffalo, and it's very effective in three important areas. Of reducing relapses, reducing accumulation of new MRI lesions in the brain, as well as a reduction in disability progression. We can use MRI scans to follow the course of MS. These bright white areas are MS lesions, and they typically enlarge and increase in number during the disease, but the drug reduced that. It also has very few side effects. The phones have been uh, ringing here in our office. Now that this drug has been approved, there's been excitement amongst our patients and a lot of anticipation with this drug coming available, and now it's here. Oh, I definitely will switch to it because if I can take something morally, it's so much easier than getting a needle. <laughs> I hate to say it, but I'd rather take a pill than a needle. Steve participated in the Avonex trial years ago, and he's grateful to those who helped develop Tecfidera. I'm excited about it. And thank God that, you know, with people being in studies and research and things they're trying to do for people, it's great. Now, Tecfidera works on the immune system in a different way than the other available MS drugs, so it may help some people who haven't found relief with the currently available treatments. So exciting. This is very exciting for yeah. a lot of MS patients, especially because it's an oral drug. It's not an injection. Right. How does a patient know if this is the right drug for them? Oh, well, that's, that's something that should be discussed by a patient and a neurologist. You know, people who are doing well on their treatment may want to stay on it. Dr. Hanaki thinks that Tecfidera may become a major treatment in a very short time, but he also points out that several new treatments are under development and some will be ready as soon as next year. We're going to have a lot to offer. There is a lot coming down the pipeline yeah. now. That is so exciting. Thank you so much, doctor, for that.